All right, today we are painting a word bearer, Chaos Space Marine. And in fact, this one's going to be wearing Mark III armor. I'm going to be painting this in 40k colors, meaning we're going to go for a nice deep rich red with some silver trim. Now this is a kind of scheme that you can turn into a batch painting scheme, so this isn't meant to be extremely detailed, but we're going to add a little bit of detail and a decal at one point. So to get started off, we're going to coat the entire thing with a bit of camo green using our airbrush. Now you may be asking, but we're painting this red. Now that's true. Uh, we're going to lay down some green here to make a nice undercoat over some black primer. And we're going to mix that green with a little bit of flow improver just like anything else. So once we've got that mixed up, we'll go ahead and start painting. coat of that green we're gonna start adding some burnt red take this nice and thin and we'll apply it gingerly over that green so we're gonna get a nice rich undercoat or red and green overlap that transparency is gonna give us kind of a somewhat sort of neutral tone and instead of a desaturated black we'll actually have a kind of a saturated kind of black kind of brown tone makes the shadows look just that much more rich build up a red just a little bit more rich some bold pearl red we'll apply this in slightly smaller areas more where the light is showing now we're not going to go with a higher value color than this uh, we're going to stay with red but we're going to make it nice and rich the word bearer armor that i'm used to uh, tends to be pretty rich pretty dark One last trick to bring up the saturation we're going to bring in some transparent red from monument and we're going to thin this down just like everything else and just give some brief sprays of the transparent red around the model to give it just a little bit more saturation we're not changing the color we're not adding more paint we're just making it more red
Okay, time for the next part. This is fun. Trim. We're gonna use Vallejo Metal Color Steel here. And that's gonna be what we base in all of the metallic trim and bits here on our work. Got our base coat of steel down. Now we need to darken it in a little bit. We're going to use our magic mix. This is a mixture of Nolan Oil, Agrax, our shade, and Lime Medium. I'm going to spot this in on all the areas with steel. We skip ahead a little bit here. And uh, there's the whole red. We're going to bring that in on the bolter, but we're also applying bits of aluminium to the edges of the highlights for the metallic as well, so we're bringing those up after the Magimix has dried. So you can see it's bringing in the whole red, we'll talk about that in just a moment. Point in the video you might be a little bit confused but I start going in and working on the bolter on the mini. Um, I reshaded a little bit from the original red that it had been kind of oversprayed with and I come in with some Vallejo Hull Red which is a slightly different color red and wash it with Karaberg Crimson. 
Following that, I apply some uh, streamer pink from Citadel, and then shade that up using, interestingly enough, um, Iosin green from P3 and a little bit of pale green for edge highlights from Pro Acryl. You'll see me work on this a little bit during the next few steps, but we'll also use that green a bit later for the eye lenses. In fact, we're now putting on some of the yellow for the eye lenses, and then we'll build up that green around the areas around the eye lenses, just a little bit to add some OSL. It's almost like an edge highlight that we kind of feather out a little bit at the darkest layer. So at this point we've waited a little bit and I actually want to apply a water slide decal to the mini. I'm starting to wet the water slide decal off to the side and right now I'm applying a little bit of what's called microset and this helps get the decal to soften and kind of lay down on the surface of the mini just a little bit easier here in a bit. I'm struggling a little bit to get the decal off, I'll take just a moment, but uh, once it's on it'll be kind of on a bit of a water plane. So I can move it around, I'll use my brush, and I actually end up damaging the paint underneath a little bit. It reactivates from the water. I would actually suggest, if you have the time, to varnish your minis before this step. Uh, a clear gloss coat would uh, provide a very smooth surface, but you may need to varnish it afterwards as well to knock out that shine. If you can localize it, that might be a little bit easier. You can see here I'm using a brush to help position and slide things off. It's being a little bit difficult, so it's kind of going off screen. It's going everywhere. Oops, I'm sorry. But once we get it down, we apply what's called Microsol, which is actually just vinegar, and that helps soften the decal a little bit more, and then we let that dry. Once it's dry, I actually hit it with a coat of Lamian Medium, which is a bit of the paint medium in Citadel paint without any pigment. Uh, this creates a nice protective layer of goop over the top, and then once that's dry, we varnish it. That's not the only thing we need to do here. You notice we have a really kind of plain Jane base, and we need to fix that. We need to dress it up. We've got to give this a little bit more snazz. So give us just a moment, and we'll uh, we'll figure that base out here. What do we do? Let's try this. Hey, there's a nice base. I believe I got this from Secret Weapon Miniatures. It's a resin base. We did it up in a quick blue-gray scale. And we're all done. This is a nice basic scheme for batch painting out some marines. You could take this a lot farther with some weathering, some chipping, etc. And if you'd like to win this mini for yourself, I'm going to be giving this away on September 4th on my Twitch stream at 8 p.m. Central Time. So join me this weekend. I'm pushing for partner. And also join me again next week. I'll be painting another mini up and having a great time. So until then, paint some minis, get some practice, and have a great time. Mm -hmm.